Hello Church. Well, it's been quite a week, hasn't it, with continuous riots and stands against what has been going on in certain parts of the, the, the world. I think now we are in our eighth day of demonstrations in various means across numerous countries. And here at SCF, we want to simply add our voice and say that racism in any form is not in the heart of God. Therefore, it's a sin. Racism destroys lives and devalues human life. Somebody once said that peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. And we should stand for justice where we see injustice happening. Here at SCF, we believe in the dignity of all people, no matter your race, background or social status. You know, the Bible teaches that every one of us is created in the image and likeness of God. Every one of us born is an image bearer of God. Every one of us, therefore, carries intrinsic value and worth as part of the human race regardless of race regardless of background regardless of status and as followers of jesus we should respond in that way we should show love to everyone and we should stand against any and all forms of racism and abuse And that can be demonstrated in how we show care and love for one another. This week we've been focusing on caring for others um, and we've been doing all sorts of different activities and things. We've had a number of photos through. Thank you for those who have sent them in and please continue to send them in. Here's my, here's my dove. Um, cut out by my wife, um, uh, but coloured in by myself with a couple of names of the people that I am seeking to show love and care for. Yeah. And that will make its way out onto the tree. It's even waterproof uh, for however long it will stay. Uh, and continue this whole week to show care and to show love to those in most needs and, and do send it in, do, do, do share what you're doing. Maybe you've received something, maybe you've received mum that cup of tea in bed from your children, just demonstrating how much they appreciate you and care for you with everything that you're doing at the moment. Take a snap and send it in to the email address below. As we move into the next week, we're looking at sharing the gospel. And again, we're encouraging you, church, to find different ways and different means to share the good news of Jesus. Because if you don't know Jesus, he is good news. Amen. We have purchased a number of Christian tracks. The delivery has taken a little longer than we had hoped. So watch out either for the Saturday update, as we'll explain a little bit more how you might be able to get hold of those. So we've ordered quite a number of Christian tracks that you um, will probably have to come and collect at the, the, the bridge, and they can be a tool for you to give away. So keep a watch out for more updates on how to get hold of those. On Monday, when we kind of kick off this week of sharing the gospel, um, we'll uh, share, um, we'll, we'll send an, a, an email out, and within that will be a couple of videos that will be up on y y y YouTube. I have a number of members from the church talking about how to pray, talking about how to read your Bible. Do you know one of the top 10? Um, Google searches recently has been how do I pray well we know and we put together a short video that just has people talking just about how they pray and how they engage with Jesus it is a great opportunity to share that 
amongst your friends. Share it on social media. Maybe be more specific. Maybe tag people who you think you really would like to watch this. And, and, and it may open a dialogue with people as well. Um, look for other opportunities to share the gospel and to share love. Um, we've been so um, fortunate to have people up and down the street. Certain times in the week we come out and we come together and we just chit chat for a bit. And it's been a great opportunity to share with, with others what's going on in my life. Again, um, people can get so creative with different ways and different means. And if you've got a way that you've shared the gospel, maybe you've got a testimony a short story, then write it in and tell us. Maybe there's a photograph that's just appropriate for you to take. Sometimes a photograph can speak a thousand words. We want to do this as a church community together. This week we've been showing together how we can care for people. Next week we want to show together how we can share the good news of Jesus. I want to encourage you, church, just to get involved and just to share it with other people. Home, home groups come up together, creative and exciting ways how you might share the love of Jesus with other people. Church, we appreciate your continuing prayers as we see the nation ease out of lockdown and as we uh, consider and pray how we reintroduce uh, Christian life here in the flesh and not through the screen. So I really appreciate your prayers for us as we seek to discern the right way and the right time to move for forward. Church, it's been good to speak to you. Don't forget, care, share, grow.